Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today is David MLA, the founder of AZ Therapies. Welcome, David. Thank you for Thank coming. You. And um, very curious to hear about this Alzheimer's treatment that your company is working on and uh, that was just approved by the FDA for phase three clinical trials. Tell right. me about the treatment. We are in a large uh, phase three trial uh, all over the world. We, uh, we initiated uh, last September, and uh, we are mm, uh, progressing uh, in the U.S. Uh, and the Europe uh, in many sites. And uh, what we are doing is trying to change the path of the disease uh, and trying to allow uh, people to live another few more years uh, in a normal life. To live a quality and life. The quality okay, of sure. life to uh -huh. be a little bit uh, much better because by the time we are 80, one of every three of us is going to have Alzheimer. Now this drug is called Alstop One. Yes. Tell me about the, the treatment. The, the, our treatment is a combination treatment uh, and we are trying to attack two mechanisms of action that are causing the disease to progress. Okay. Uh, one of them is a, a amyloid plaque that is being produced in, in everyone's brain. Uh, so some people, when you get older, produce a little bit more. Some of them really don't know how to uh, wash it out uh, uh, after the, it does its job. And because it accumulates, somehow it precipitating within the uh, brain network and start interfering in the, uh, the network uh, interaction, uh, memory, uh, and the function, it's important to change the path and, and slow it down mm -hmm. or um, the, mm, halt it at all, you know. So that, that's the way we are different from many others. We are trying to slow down or halt the disease. So uh, what we are trying to do I is uh, uh, to use two safe drugs that really were used even in children for many years. Uh, and we changed the, the way they act by uh, allowing them to get into the blood and then into the brain. And we t actually titrate the brain, uh, titrate the amount that is produced every day. We don't give too much uh, of the drug, so uh, we can give it for many years without really seeing uh, too much of the side effects. So that's really an important point. The second one, the second drug that we are using is to try to, to treat the neuroinflammation that is not, it's invisible in the beginning, you don't see it, the people don't have headaches, but the, the interference in the brain um, work uh, causes a, 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 the neuroinflammation to develop slowly and that really produces all kinds of uh, toxins in the brain that we have to treat and our drug is really trying to treat that part mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so we are really attacking most uh, important uh, uh, mechanisms for the disease development and try, trying to hold it at that uh, right away in the beginning. At the early stage. In the early stage. Mm -hmm. By 2050, it's estimated Alzheimer's disease will triple in terms of occurrences and yearly cost will top a trillion dollars. I mean, it's terrifying, uh, this uh, disease and it what it could do to families and financial uh, situations. It, so. it, it, you're right, that's really one of the biggest problems why this, this, this uh, uh, disease is really, mm, you know, is getting a lot of attention. My first publication was in 1986. Nobody was interested <laughs> in that time. Okay. But in, in now, it really becomes something that may affect the whole economy in the U.S. Sure. And, and in the world, not just mm -hmm. in the U.S. And, uh, and we, we, they have to really pay attention to it. I believe there are solutions. Uh, it's not the, all the approaches that were used before. Uh, we're not working, they're, they're probably working in the beginning, but the problem is that the toxicity effect takes over and then the, the disease is, is overwhelmed and the progression continues. So that's the part that we really are mm, aiming at, to try to stop that uh, mm -hmm. process. You're mentioning there was the trial, your trial at AZ Therapies uh, will be done before some other trials are taking place. That, that is right. Uh, our trial is uh, for about 600 subjects all over the world uh, and we believe that the first uh, um, look at the uh, data will be at the end of uh, 2018 before anyone else 
uh, is going to do uh, uh, publish uh, results on early studies uh, of uh, early Alzheimer uh, trials. So that's from our point of view is really a, a great inflection point. Uh, we also uh, are able to complete all our study probably before anyone else. I believe uh, m uh, the, the fact that we uh, are progressing very fast on the trial uh, will make us uh, actually probably in the front runners uh, into getting s a, 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 a combination therapy that will help uh, the changing the path of the okay. disease. What milestones are you hoping to hit with this treatment? Uh, the, what we would like to see is that the, the first few hundred subjects that we are testing uh, will let us know uh, a, how much we slowed down the, the path of the disease. So uh, the first milestone will be at the end of uh, 2018 and then opening the study will be uh, even at the end of 2019 for the whole uh, s subject series. Now, you're also working, we spend most of our time talking about the Alzheimer's treatment, but you also are working on a stroke treatment as well. And, and I know they're, and they're interrelated diseases. That's right. right? What we have in the, in the stroke study, we have about 500 subjects that were approved to do for a kind of a pivotal study, phase two, 500 subjects. Uh, we have the, in 35 sites in the U.S. that agreed to work with us, six in Canada and six in Israel. Uh, and we believe that study will end by the end of 2017. And from our point of view, uh, that's really another milestone that we will hit. I want you to talk about your scientific advisors, because I understand you have a very impressive panel. Yeah, uh, our scientific advisory board is from probably the top uh, mm, people in, uh, in the area of Alzheimer. Um, Dr. Rudy Tanzi is one of the uh, persons that really actually discovered the genes for uh, the Alzheimer and uh, his group is um, if, uh, involved in so many researches uh, and they did some of the work that uh, also we, we tried to uh, learn about the disease. Uh, we have uh, Steve Wagner and, uh, and uh, uh, Sam Sasodian, that really are the world expert on plaque. We have uh, uh, Keith Johnson, who has really developed all the uh, theory on the tau, uh, mm -hmm. and Seth Finkelstein, who is probably most known for the stroke uh, with uh, uh, Scott Kastner from uh, Penn. So we have a really a great group of people in, uh, in that area. We also have a great group uh, on the business uh, advisory board, like uh, mm, Professor um, Michael Porter, who is the head of strategy of Harvard. We have uh, a, a, a Noah Gatinger, the, the CEO of Dun & Phelps. We have uh, a, a Thierry Porti, who is the head of JC Flower, all Europe and, and outside Europe. So, and the David King, who is, uh, used to be the head of uh, UBS uh, Asia, so, uh, in, and others, okay? Yeah. Well, we, we really uh, have uh, the, best, the best people in, in the field, and actually, we are meeting with them, and we are talking to them, and that's the most important part. They can criticize us, they tell us what to do, and they help us in putting together the right uh, protocols. Right, well, some of the best minds in science and finance coming together to hopefully solve this problem that so many families are dealing with and could have a huge impact on us for another generation. So thank you so much for sharing the story of, AV ther of AZ therapies and your treatments that are going on with Alzheimer's and stroke today, David. Thank you very much. I really thank you. thank you. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And for more interesting stories from small companies, you can go to smallcapnation.com.